Pouncer's Chad comes through once again and drops a sneak preview of Pouncer's newest product, AIP Evaluations, recorded at the latest AIP Con, as well as a major interview with Pouncer CTO Sham Sankar, posted by the one and only Amit on his channel, alongside interviewing with him with Arnie. So while I'll not steal their thunder by going super into the weeds, I'd say it's a must watch for anyone following Pounteer and seeing them have the chance to ask their questions. They cover a nice range of topics from their government to commercial business, AIP, even asking Sham if he feels like a rock star, but notably as well, getting a nice portion on FedStart, which we honestly haven't heard too much about recently, or at least loudly anywhere, but still is a huge offering from Pounteer just to get that security level needed for smaller startup companies without the huge initial investment to get the clearance themselves directly. They also touch on Pounder's culture and their pursuit of being realistic about the world to actually win, and that's their mission. But also importantly, they cover the future of LLMs, their commoditization, as well as they did close on an interesting note too, getting Sham's perspective on how Pounder is misunderstood, at least from his point of view. And I'd say it's really powerful how he explains how Pounder is solving the problems that are persistent in the world, especially those that people believe are boring and are already solved in reality that aren't. And what I appreciate the most from these kinds of interviews with Sham is his closeness to the products and getting a more technical perspective, I'd say, than from Alex Karp. But it is 30 minutes long here, but I swear it went by so fast since it was so compelling. So check it out when you have a chance. Then also, Chad posted a recording from AIP Khan that we didn't get to see from the live stream talked through by another Palantir employee, Ankit Shankar. They relieved AIP evaluations. This is honestly an awesome product coming out at the right time, where AIP evaluations can actually help enterprises figure out the value of the models that they're using. Literally figuring out the expected value out of an LLM when you can see how fast it is or how accurate it is. When you use the evaluator on the use case, it gives out metrics to see how effective it's actually working. Say, so if you're seeing an issue, they're able to add tools and then reevaluate to see what actually happened, where they get that better outcome, maybe it's second run here. But you can dig further on seeing the meat and potatoes, where even though accuracy went up, the time it took also did drastically. So by using a combination of models the next go around now, they got a way better result lowering the duration from 6.6 .6 seconds to 1.9 seconds and then reaching a way higher accuracy of 100% instead of 69. Then later on, they also walk through simulating the ontology for more testing. But the timing of this product, though, still is something that we can keep a lookout for for new large language models that are continually getting improved upon and new ones getting released, too. So it almost seems like there's always something to evaluate here, and this will be useful to do it yourself. Whereas Palantir is on the side of harnessing models, where the other side of the business is just trying to create a good model. So it won't be surprised based on the tweet here that Chad had that they'll bring something more updated and refined to showcase publicly. So when it does, I think a lot of enterprises can see how they themselves can utilize the actual ability to discern the available models. But what are your thoughts still on this below? And I'll see you in the next video.